storytelling. So, right now I feel like there are two, there's like double fiction. So I'll try, I'll try to think what I was, what I was writing. I was writing something about how it kind of feels like there are two layers of fiction right now because there is stuff I'm writing like for this which would normally be considered fiction because it's something else like it's not like I'm writing an email or anything or speaking with someone about reality I'm always speaking with someone else I don't know who you are supposed to be but it's like someone that's not present at the other end someone who can't give anything back in that way that is realistic, I guess. But even even my so-called realistic conversations are fictional right now. Because it's like, you know, everything is cancelled. But it wasn't cancelled yesterday. Yesterday everyone said that it would go on. And then today it was cancelled. So everything I said yesterday about that then would be fiction. What is this space then? Is this space somewhere that will then become true? I guess that's why I'm, I've always been in music and have enjoyed recording because there, there has been some kind of potential of, of how shall I put it? Um, it is somehow contagious, but in a way you're not aware of, carried by invisible bodies from one person to another. You don't know how you're going to react, and when you do react, you react with body parts you didn't know you had, very small ones like, you know, all the little hairs you don't normally feel in your body. Well, this is what, I guess, the only story being told about reality that really works is right now. We are given all these body parts, the responsibility of them, you know, your face, the mouth, the nose, the ears. The narrative is a bit limited perhaps. The narrative is, don't touch them. So maybe I'm here then to allow myself to touch them.